Ladies and gentlemen, Chuck McCoy, one of the finest stuntmen in the world. He's good. Great time. Getting around that high up, you better be good. Move me. Some way to earn a living. Help! Help! Save Pinky! Now what? <laughs> about that when we retire? Pick up a little extra money. No thanks. Give me a couple of nice explosions any day. Ready for you on stage four in about ten minutes. Tight schedule today. Got my Robin Hood costume? In your trailer. Hey there. Atlas holding up the world. That's an old trick. They make those rocks out of styrofoam now. Used to be phosphorus. <laughs> Chuck McCoy, ready for rehearsal. Let's see how she swings. Look okay? Can you land about three feet to the left? I'll give it a try. Whenever you're ready, Chuck. Let's see it once more. Try and hit the new mark. Okay, that was right on the nose. Ready to make it? Okay with me. Places, everybody. Okay, this is a take. Let's try and get it the first time. Knights ready? Yo! Roll it. Scene 72. Take one. Okay. Action. Ready, Chuck. Here come the knights. Go! I think that's for real. I don't know. We rehearsed twice. Everything was just fine. Then he landed and something just gave way. Looks like everything did, like jack straws. Move one of those timbers and down comes the whole shooting match. Well, let's get an attic ladder up here and some lines just in case. Squad 51, Cap. Fireman Gage and DeSoto. Is there anything we can do? Glad to have you. Tough one. See if you can get down to this fellow from the top, will you? See how he is. Yell for anything you need. What's the quickest way topside? one way to get into the movies. How you doing? <laughs> okay, I think. Who are you? We're for the fire department. Looks like you're caught pretty good there. Yeah. Legs bent onto me. You got much pain? Can't feel it. Gone numb. The circulation's cut off, I guess. All right, well, you hang tight. We'll see about getting you down out of there. Thanks. The sooner the better. I wonder if this outfit has a K-12 aboard. K-12? We saw through those support timbers, and the rest of that wall might give way. That's a chance we'll have to take. Well, if we're going to do it, we better do it fast. You better get up to McCoy. How much more? Keep cranking it. Any room? No go! Hey, watch it!
won't work. That beam's the only thing holding the wall. We cut it and the whole thing comes down. There is one shot left. We can try to move the wall on McCoy's side. Okay, uh, send that jack in! <laughs> Hurry it up, you guys! Move! When the wall behind you starts to move, try and squirm out of there. Right. A little more. Come on. We're gonna have about six seconds to get out of here. Another couple of inches. Roy, stand clear. My leg. You can do it, if I could just give me your arm. That's it. All right. All right, let's get out of here. You guys, go ahead. I'll get out. Children, we once saved Robin Hood. Yeah, they'll never believe it. How about a banana? You want to be a stump monkey? Don't go away. I want to talk to you fellas. There's a big fire sequence in this picture starting next week. A couple of things none of us have ever done before. And it may not look like it, but we don't like to take unnecessary chances. We'd feel a lot better yeah. if you'd both be there. You know, technical advisors. Think we can get permission? Well, maybe on our day off. Hey, you kids. You're invited to come along, too. You know, you'd better get that leg checked. I'm headed for the hospital right now. What a guy! Man, has he got guts. Okay, so far. Pick up your man. Okay, cut. Look great from here. Oh, brother. It's hot in there. How'd it look to you? Say anything fake or phony? Not a thing. Okay, save the fire. Save it! Like magic. I know how they do it with butane gas. These jets can just be turned off and on. So you get a fire that looks real. Chuck McCoy, let's do the man on fire shot next. Well, I'm gonna need Gage and DeSoto right with me on this one. What's the man on fire? I know how they do it. He has a special barbecue suit on. Are you really going to set him on fire? Yes. Isn't that dangerous? Very. That's why we need your friends here. Wouldn't try it without them. Okay. Let's get this on the first tape. Now you'll be on fire for ten seconds. That's all the director needs on film. Now at ten, you hit the dirt. We'll hit you with the extinguisher. And just be sure I don't end up medium rare. Don't worry. We'll be there. Everyone ready? Let's do it. Quiet, please. This is a very dangerous stunt. If you're not working in the seam, please keep back. Keep clear. The wind. What if that breeze hits McCoy when he's on fire? Roll him. Speed. Scene 19. Take one. Okay. Action. Anytime you're ready, Chuck. Nine. He's in trouble. You okay? Okay, just a little toasty. Where did that wind come from? You guys are sure handy to have around. It's our pleasure. We enjoyed it. Stay out of trouble now. You know, I don't think I'll be a something after all. It's too boring. Oh, yeah? Well, what are you going to be? A librarian. I think I'll be a director and just tell everybody else what to do.
Can you take me to a telephone? Quick! Responding. Let's roll. Hold it. No good. By laying down a ladder, let me crawl out and I'll try that. I... Won't hold a man's weight. You just can't get in close enough with any kind of equipment. Can you see him? I can't see a thing. Easy. That old bank looks like it could give way. Looks mighty shaky. Yeah, it feels shaky. No, I've got to go for it. All right, let her out. More rope. All right, slow down. Over here. Am I glad to see you? Where's your partner? I don't know. I lost him. Must be buried. Well, let's find him. There's a chance he's still alive. You okay? I think so. All right, take that side. Start digging. Miller! Miller! Nothing. Just keep digging. Miller! Okay, easy now. Take a whiff of this and you'll feel more like traveling. All right, haul away! from here. I found a spot that feels solid. Boy, I'm never gonna make it. It's getting tough to breathe. Look, we gotta get a way to get him out of there. Now, what kind of ground do you call that anyway? You just look at that cheesecake and it collapses. Now listen, if we can get a helicopter in here and get Not him a out chance. of here. Not through those wires. They've started tunneling from the side. In a successful effort to rescue others, this courageous man has now himself become the victim. A rescue team is frantically fighting the clock, trying to reach the paramedic John Gage by digging a tunnel. How long will it take to reach him? 
Now they're moving as fast as they can. There's a lot of weight on his chest. Look, I don't know anything else to do. Rescue workers are putting forth a tremendous effort to complete the tunnel before time runs out on paramedic John Gage. There has been no communication now with Gage for over two hours. How long? An hour, about. That's too long. David! Get out! Okay, let's stop standing around and just get back to work, huh? That cost us half an hour. Let's get back. Come on. There's got to be some other way. Fireman John Gage still remains trapped, victim of a cave-in here. The big question at this hour is, can the tunnel crew reach the firemen in time? How can we get somebody down there to him without starting another slide? That's what it amounts to. The ground surrounding the excavation is apparently so unstable that all attempts to move up heavy equipment or crew to send men down by rope or ladder have been unsuccessful. And you'll land on what? Airbag. Ought to be able to get one here from the studio in 20 minutes. Wonder how they found out. How about television? That's 60 feet down there, Mac. How are you going to clear the air? You can't shoot you out of a cannon. Well, could we set up the poodle jump? You know, give you a little boost and some elevation? What do you think? In one I of the think most you're out of your mind. One of the most bizarre rescue efforts ever attempted, Stuntman McCoy is setting up the apparatus that may rescue. The new question is, is there sufficient air? sustain the life of paramedic Gage much longer, who, in a selfless effort to save others, has now endangered his own life. That ought to do it. The crowd is tense here. Fire department, rescue teams, doctors, the press, all of us. Nothing we can do but wait is the final preparations. Craziest idea I ever heard of. Think it'll work? I hope so. Back a little. More to the left. Not quite balanced. I'm not sure I can look. I'm not either. Okay, great. That ought to do it. What's the idea of all the lights, Roy? Right? I thought you said you didn't take chances. An almost breathless hush has come over the crowd as Stuntman McCoy, Foster, and Roselli prepare to reach the buried paramedic. I said I didn't take unnecessary chances. Okay, ready? Yo! You didn't know this show was on television. Now, let's just give you a little room here to breathe while we wait for our private tunnel to get here. Feel better? You okay? Feel fine, sure. Look, I was just relaxing. You guys were doing all the work. 